The following is a presentation of William Patterson University Television, WPTV. Welcome back to the desk. We have Jesse, Justin, and Joel in studio to break down the budding Pioneer basketball season. Now, fellas, big story for the Pioneers last week. Number 24, uh, NJCU, goes down at the hands of our Pioneer men's team. They've won two games since, too. Joel, you saw the game. Take us through what, what went right, right for the for the Pioneers. A lot, a lot of things went right. Let's, if we can take a look at the box score right here. Um, the men are playing really well this season. Uh, as you see, they've won 88 to 72. Uh, field goal percentage, uh, 62 to 40 percent right there. Their defense, though, seven blocks uh, compared to the one. I like the defense for the Pioneers. They're playing very well. What else did you guys see from that game? For me, it has to be the three-point shooting. Sean Smith and Dominic Mignon are pretty much now the two leaders of the team. They've played extremely well together, and they've fallen in love with the three ball, and it's working for them. As we saw, 13 of 20 fell for them. Yeah, the three-point line has definitely been a big factor, but the biggest factor for me was the interior defense, the seven blocks versus one. Henry Voorhees has come into his own this year, knowing that he is the defensive force, going up and getting the rebounds, controlling the pace of the team. That's what this William Patterson Pioneers team did against number 24 T and NJCU. And Jesse, to your credit, you were saying early in the season that this was a big question mark, this Pioneer team, but they've really blown our expectations out of the water, and it's great to see. Uh, they head into their game against Stockton tomorrow on a four-game win streak. Uh, what's been their biggest factor in their success thus far? Well, Justin alluded to it earlier. It's falling in love with the three-point line, but also getting those reserves to come off the bench. Justin Lingat has given them great minutes this year. Also, Sajmir Asani has not missed a shot in about three weeks, besides like a couple free throws here and there. From the field, he actually has not missed a shot. For me, it has to be the Pioneer big men. Uh, Henry Voorhees, St. Simeon, Bo Braun, and Azir Fields all have a nice rotation as forwards and centers. They both come off, they all rotate with each other, come off the bench, and they can clean the glass for the Pioneers and give them a little more extra possessions. How about you, Joel? Same thing as Justin alluded to. I like the, the big men. The blocking, though, as I mentioned, in their last four games, they have a combined 19. In the, in the first five, they only came up with 14. So the defense has stepped up with the blocking. It gives them a good transition moving forward. Defense wins championships, fellas. Let's switch courts over to the women's team. They sit right now at 3-5. and five. The season's still young. Justin, we'll start with you. What could they do to improve upon their season so they gotta far? they got to improve the three-point shooting. And uh, we saw with the men how it, it's carrying them in their win streak. And at the same time, for the women, they're only shooting 27% from three as a whole and are, have only shot 40% or higher in one game this past season. And I was at NJCU. As you can see there, 2-2 two and two in their last four games. Some tough losses there. Some big wins. Jesse, what's going on with the women? Well, when you look at uh, what's going on here. Rutgers Camden and Rutgers Newark. Two losses right there in the end, Jack. That's huge. We can't just go out there and win these games against non-conference opponents. It doesn't help in the playoff standings. We came in with such high hopes this year, and to see the way the team has been kind of decimated and picked apart, it's depressing to see. Joel? I'm not ready to say panic at all for the women's team. Tomorrow they play against Stockton. It's a winnable game. Stockton is 1-7 right now. It's a winnable game for the Pioneers. For me, just like Justin said earlier again, that three-point shooting, they live and die by the three. In their last two games, they're eight for 36 from the three. That's unacceptable. And quarter way through the season, uh, still young for both teams. Joel, we'll go with you. What do you expect uh, from either team in the upcoming months? Oh, well, for the men, um, I'm really liking uh, Sean Smith. If we could take a look at some highlights for Sean Smith right here. He's having a breakout season for me. Keep your foot on the gas with that three-point. Man, it's like Steph Curry on the court right now. <laughs> he's playing, what, 50% from the three-line right now in the Pretty last four games? Yeah. He's unstoppable right now. And also Dominic Mignon. He's another one. Keep the, the pressure forward in transition, finding your guys, because he's leading, I think he had like eight assists the last game. He broke it, uh, his previous record was six, so good for uh, Mignon and the team moving forward for this Pioneer team. Justin? For me, i got to talk about the Splash Brothers at William Patterson with <laughs> yes. Mignon and Sean Smith. Both of them kind of shifted down positions where Mignon was shooting guard. Smith played a little bit of small forward last year. Now Mignon's a point guard. Sean Smith is pretty much the two guard. So it's really nice to see them developing their chemistry as the primary ball handlers for the Pioneers. Jesse? As Justin said, the backcourt is having such good chemistry. Not even issues, just gaining it all together as the games wear on. They just get better and better. The big men, though, have been fantastic as well. When we look at the women, on the other hand, Chloe Kasbarian needs to start draining those threes. She seems to be the only sharpshooter on the team, but right now she is just strictly not hitting them, and the team is suffering widespread for it. 
All right. It sounds good. The season's still young. Uh, on a personal note, our good friend Joel Roman is graduating in December, so this is his last episode. Joel, thank you so much for being part of the WP Sports Desk. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> good luck to all our pioneers over the break. Don't go anywhere because we'll move up court from college to pros and break down the NBA right after this.